Hi, this is Masai Muchi in New York City. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to give you the most updated definitive analysis of John Coltrane's Giant Steps. My academic paper was published by the Institute of Jazz Studies in 2002. 22 years ago, Downbeat published my Woodshed article about John Coltrane's multitonic changes. And John Coltrane's plays Coltrane Change songbook uh, I created with this uh, book with uh, Dr. David Zemze. I also work with Alice Coltrane and Ravi Coltrane. You know Coltrane's family? So this is official book. You can use this book with confidence. And Carlos Santana loves this book. When I came to the United States uh, back in uh, 1996, I read this academic paper by Dr. David Demsey in Music Library at the City College of New York. He also wrote an article for Downbeat. Dr. David Demsey's paper is about Coltrane's major third key cycle. is very similar to Stronimsky's musical example in his book. He wrote this paper and article. So, when I read this writing, I felt I have a different point of view. My academic paper is based on the subsets of limited transposition. You know, I got these charts from hard work. You can find the same kind of thing in Sronimsky's book. I compared Sronimsky's example with my studies so I found his errors. Also, there's a stupid guy who stole from me, and his name is uh, Miles Okazaki. I have to file my complaints against the publisher Mailbay through the Better Business Bureau. So you can see the complaint ID here. So I wanted to record the documents in the government, because, you know, the researcher in future can observe the plagiarism. You know, there's always wise people, so that uh, this reader noticed the plagiarism. I should have not sent my uh, submission, the subset concept. I changed the title into the, uh, the complete source of musical skills uh, when I published it from Charles Corrin. The later the revised edition from my company, Master Music. So, Melbay stole from me. I also wrote an article about the connection between John Coltrane and Carlos Salcedo, great harp player. Because I noticed this book has a um, you know, major third modulation. So, I told Hal Leonard about my discovery and they changed the book cover. So, you can get this book. Either will do. They are the same thing. And Mr. Yasuhiro Fujioka, Japanese Coltrane discographer, he got this geometric drawing by Coltrane from uh, cousin Mary, uh, Mary Alexander. When I saw this drawing first time, I did not notice how this drawing was used. You can also find same kind of geometric drawings by John Coltrane in Dr. Yusef Rati's books. In fact, the, this part I marked in red is wrong. I told it to the Dr. Ratif and he noticed it too. It's advisable for you to read Coltrane's essay. It's published in Downbeat and uh, you can read the reprint version in Coltrane on Coltrane book. Let me start with the Coltrane's phrasing, uh, which I call the geometric pattern. 1, 2, flat 5, flat 6, SLT4. This pattern is quoted by uh, Zita Carno and David Baker and uh, Dr. Louis Porter. Here's my analysis uh, using the subsets of limited transposition. Then I applied it to Coltrane's geometric drawing and it looks like this. You can find this 1, 2, flat 5, flat 6 pattern in Sronimsky's book, but Sronimsky's pattern is written in one key. Please note that Coltrane's geometric lines are more complicated than his book. 
Just make sure I listened to Sronimsky's recordings and I also contacted his daughter. Her name is Elektra and I asked the, the picture on the cover is you. Uh, she said uh, it's my father as a child. So many people believe Coltrane studies Sronimsky's book, but uh, I'm sure he's never listened to the composition and recordings. It's safe to say Coltrane owns this book, but he did not use that much. I will prove it to you here. I also noticed the first official sheet music under the John Coltrane's credit. I got this sheet music when I work with Charles Colin. And uh, they said that Gigi Grice used to practice with Coltrane at the Charles Corrin studio. Their presidents talked to them, we can publish something, you know, like this, not so sleepy. But uh, this is very uh, weird publication. If we want to know the truth, you can get Rat Race Bruce book. Actually, they missed the credit for me and uh, they put the notes in their homepage like this. It's less known, but Tony Rollins also practiced with John Coltrane. So, Rollins used the same kind of pattern. But you should note, Rollins developed the idea into his own patterns. You can read the precise story in my Miles book. Then I found Coltrane's 1256 geometric pattern, which was different from 1, 2, flat 5, flat 6 patterns, you know, the other scholar mentioned. So that was my new discovery. So Coltrane used this 1, 2, 5, 6 geometric patterns like this, and I shared my updated analysis with professional jazz researchers more than 10 years ago. So please do not steal from me. Your professor or your teacher, maybe he's in the reserve and he knows you stole from me. You might be get kicked out of your school. <laughs> so the analysis I'm going to give you is discussed in my lexicon book and also in my Miles Davis book. You can read both. Coltrane must have written this line uh, using the geometric drawing Mr. Fujioka got from Mary Alexander. I'm not sure how you study music. Everyone knows Jeremy Fasora Chido, you know, but uh, there's another way and G major key, fixed do, solfuge, solatito, le mi fi so. But uh, movable do, it's also sung like a do, re, mi, fa, so, la, si, do. So you have to understand this sort of system. We are going to use this for the analysis. So this segment is one, two, five, six. Are you ready? So I'm going to give you the definitive analysis of John Coltrane. Miles Davis told Coltrane, you can play them on the fifth chord, you know, perfect fifth up. So one, two, five, six can be read as Sola Re Mi, five, six, two, three. And the move of the system will help us to understand how Coltrane used the perfect fifth up melody. Sola Re Mi and Do Re Sola is the same kind of thing. Coltrane loves the technique of perfect fifth up melody. For example, cause Mary A flat major blues is written like this. 5 flat 7 5. Usually people wrote 1 flat 3 1. The melody is perfect fifth up. Coltrane used the same kind of idea for the giant step melody. So B flat C F G for the E flat key melody. D E A B in G key melody. G flat, A flat, D flat, E flat is going to be used in B key melody. So, here's the definitive analysis of giant steps. This is in the key of B part. Please note how Coltrane used the 1, 2, 5, 6 segment for the melody. And the next one is E flat key melody. The next one is written in the key of G using the segment of 1, 2, 5, 6. So, 
The melody of giant steps came from Coltrane's 1, 2, 5, 6 geometric pattern and drawings. I found this. I did not notice this fact when I submitted the, my academic paper to the Institute of Jazz Studies. But this is more accurate and it's more definitive. And this is my uh, best conclusion I can give you. But don't get me wrong. You can find a basic idea in the Sronimuskis. It looks like this. We can use the same material which Dr. Demze quoted in his paper. And we should note we can get a 1, 2, 5, 6 patterns uh, using the treble tone laws. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, you know, 1 flat 2, 2 flat 3 using the tritone substitution. Flat 2 became 5 and flat 3 became 6. So that's uh, 1, 2, 5, 6. And the E major part, you can do the same. A flat part, you can do the same. We can make the 1, 2, 5, 6 patterns without a geometric drawing. It's simple, more than you think. We should not overlook Coltrane's geometric patterns are more complicated than Sronimsky's book. Sronimsky's pattern is written in one key. You should notice Coltrane used the geometric drawing to create the uh, geometric patterns of his own. There is much justice in this view. This is Japanese jazz magazine called Jazz Life. I found this article in the August uh, 1987 issue. It's interview article of Japanese tenor saxophone player Hidehiko Matsumoto. He was making friends with Dr. Yusef Latif. Mr. Matsumoto met Coltrane in 1963 at Badrand. When Mr. Matsumoto met Coltrane, Coltrane said, I'm practicing with this drawing. Maybe you can practice too. And Matsumoto said, he showed me a kind of clock face drawing, but I could not understand what he said. But you should note Coltrane met him in 1963 at Badrand. Therefore, Coltrane practiced various key changes with his drawing. It's not about the 1, 2, flat, 5, 6 patterns used in 1957 to 1958. Coltrane was doing something different in 1963 because he plays a lot of D-7 model tunes like impressions so Coltrane was using the his geometric drawing and the melody of giant step came from Coltrane's 1 2 5 6 geometric pattern and geometric drawings so this is definitive and I have to give you the warning do not be fooled by non-professional music series on YouTube and do not waste your money on the book Coltrane never used. I have to say this because some student asked me about it. Do not waste your time on Sroniminsky's book too much. Coltrane did not use it that much. Instead, Coltrane used his own geometric drawings for his music. And I've seen this kind of thing many times, but uh, this stupid guy giving the credit to the plagiarist. Miles Okazaki, but no credit for me. But uh, you can easily find this kind of thing in my book because Okazaki stole from me. So we don't need another plagiarist. We do not need another dishonest guy. This comparing charts shows you how Okazaki stole from me. And there are many more examples. And uh, in the first printing, no credit for me. After my Better Business Bureau complaint, Melbury put my name in the second printing, but I never received any copyright fee. If you take a look at my academic paper, you can easily find the copyright notice, 1999. Melbury never paid me any copyright fee, and he possessed the Japanese family name, but uh, I clearly say Okazaki was not my student. And don't be fooled by fake five-star reviews on Amazon. I received this kind of mail. Uh, this one is from a book commentary. 
they can work for dishonest people. It's only for money. I never use this service. They will charge you 17 pack for one book review. It's fake. So my advice is do the research and get honest. People will notice if you plagiarize, if you lied. It's documented in the government documents. That's why giving you the BBB complaint ID. You can get the document from the Better Business Bureau. You know, maybe 10 years, 20 years, 100 years later. It's documented. So, I'm going to give you a good example. This is Frank Caruso. He passed away recently and he was very honest guy. He bought my book. He said he liked it and he gave me credit. We exchanged, you know, teaching information and we also exchanged our books. He's a very nice guy. I really miss him. Here's another good example. This is Professor Rich Peregrine. He contacted me, he wants to use my composition, and uh, I gave him the permission. So this is academic paper, so I didn't charge him. But uh, Melbourne is a commercial publisher, it's a different story. So if you are a student, please be careful. If you read this kind of article, please do what I did. I wrote my paper after reading Dr. Demsey's work. You can read my paper in Google Books. You can find the link in the below. So, please be honest. I mentioned Dr. Demsey in footnotes and the bibliography. I started my study after reading Dr. Demsey's paper. When I read his paper, I felt Oh, I have a slightly different idea using my subset of limited transposition. In the next issue, Annual Review of Jazz Studies 13, Matthew Santa wrote the same topic. And um, Matthew Santa gave us the credit. Now you are able to see Cotwain's 1, 2, 5, 6 geometric pattern can match the melody of giant steps. The geometric pattern was originally used in Trinco Trinco, July 1957. The next step is to create your own geometric patterns and composition. So here's the another good advice. Search not for the tracks of the people of old. Search for that which they aspired to. So, I gave you the definitive analysis of John Coltrane's Giant Steps. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for your better study, for real study. Thank you for watching.